Get your holy face ready because the illusionists are back on Broadway in their all new show, Turn of the Century. We're here at the historic Palace Theater to see what amazing acts and tantalizing tricks they have up their sleeves this time. Obviously, holiday season on Broadway, there are so many different choices. Why should audiences make sure they come to see the illusionists' Turn of the Century? Because I think that we have taken the greatest illusionists who have been in the industry for many years and put them together. The previous illusion shows absolutely knock out rockin' shows. But the illusionists turn of the century. We've taken the best from our shows and we've put them together and finally have a camaraderie of magicians who've never worked together before, who've been in the industry their entire career, and we put it on this stage. The best of the best. And what are some of the things you have planned to blow audiences' minds? Well, uh, obviously the, the show is set a hundred years ago and so what we're doing is recreating acts that really haven't been seen since that time. So, for example, I, I'm uh, a daredevil performer. I'm actually not a magician. I'm the sort of odd man out as far as that goes. And in this show, I'm doing an escape from a pair of police regulation handcuffs, but I'm doing it whilst I'm hanging from, from my teeth 20 feet up into the air uh, from a burning rope with spikes underneath me. So, so uh, yeah, it, right. it's a workout. We know we, we had the first previews and it was great. You know, the people, they are standing up at the end and they're fascinated. And and they give us huge uh, applause and that's amazing. But on the other side, it's also cool when they're totally quiet, you know, sitting there with open eyes, open mouths and just enjoying the show. So both sides are great. <laughs> Broadway audiences are savvy. They, they, they see shows a lot. They know what's going on. Why is this one really going to blow their minds? I think it's the framework. Broadway is all about production value and storyline and how the piece is put together. I don't think Broadway wants to just see a whole bunch of magicians on stage doing tricks. But if it has a storyline, depth, staging, beautiful scenery, costumes that fit the day, the age, that is New York. That is Broadway. And I think that they really pulled it off this third time around and pulled it together and made it a show that fits a theater like the Palace Theater. This, this is where Vaudeville was born, it was inside this theater. Marx Brothers, Will Rogers, W.C. Fields have all walked the planks of the stage and performed. And this, uh, we sort of bringing it back. I mean, we're dressed the era of when this theater opened, you know. And so if you want to come and see a show where it looks like it did, with the surroundings, you know, the motif of this theater, you're gonna get that feeling like you just stepped back in time. In fact, I would hope, and it's only my suggestion, that people coming to the show should dress for the occasion. They should dress in this style of clothing to come to the show. I've always wanted that, where the entire theater, literally everybody goes back to the 19, 1903, 1904, and we really dress to the hilt. And so being in a Broadway theater, you have not only the essence that's left over, but you also have live music. How is that all going to enhance the experience for theater goers? We have uh, an incredible band, uh, an orchestra that's playing live. The music uh, that's written for the show is is really incredible. You know, usually when you're, when you're uh, performing, you know, in, in less grand circumstances, you know, you're playing to a backing track. But having a live, um, a live orchestra is great. And also for us, because it's live, you don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes I maybe I'm not going to get out of the handcuffs, and so those people can respond to that and fill in gaps. And it's really it's a dance between between them and, and us on stage. What are some audience reactions that you've witnessed that have really surprised you and blown your mind that you know people are just eating the show up? I get to see it every night. Uh, when I fly in the air, I hover over the entire audience. And I go from the, the, the orchestra all the way up to the balcony. And I see everyone. And the lights are up in the entire theater and all I get is this. You know, that's, that's the look. That's, in fact, sometimes it's so grand that they just like this and they try to put their hands together, but they can't. It's so like, what? What? 